Welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi, I'm Mark and today I'm going to take you for a walk around a uh, really nice example of a 2010 Toyota Corolla Ascent 5 door hatchback. Start at the front of the car and just uh, highlight the condition of it, very clean little car, couple of minor little touch ups just on the bonnet and the grille there, very minor cosmetic things but we like to highlight exactly what we see as we're walking around the car. Coming down the driver's side once again, uh, the colour of this car is called tungsten. Um, that's what Toyota called the actual colour and uh, presents really well, has that metallic fleck running through it and as you can see the appearance of the driver's side in really good order. We do have the uh, indicators in the exterior mirrors as well, really good tread on the tyres, running very good tyres as well, Yokohama's and uh, just overall presentation's nice. As we come around to the tailgate, notice all the beautiful chrome badging through the tailgate. Um, does have colour coded reverse sensors as well and the high mount stoplight in the uh, tailgate also. Uh, once again, important to note condition of the car. You look at the rear bumper bar, similar thing, one very minor little touch up there but overall for a car approaching four years old in, in beautiful order. As we come down around the passenger side now, a um, couple of just minor little scratches there that have been touched up. Uh, once again, I'm being fairly pedantic but you know, we like like to just highlight those extremely minor imperfections. Overall presents very similar to the driver's side, the rear of the car. The presentation on the whole for the exterior of this car, really fine example. So we'll have a little bit of a chat now about uh, the, the performance and the economy of the little Corolla. Great little car, uh, 1.8 litre four cylinder motor. So from, a, from an economy point of view, it's gonna give you uh, 7.4 litres combined per 100 k's. Even though they're a fairly small fuel tank, only a 55 litre fuel tank, you're still going to expect in excess of 740 k's to a tank of fuel. At the same time, 100 kilowatts of power, 175 newton metres of torque. So little zippy car around town, small little auto, but delivering outstanding fuel economy. So moving back around to the tailgate area now, just a simple push on the little button there, you notice the gas struts take that tailgate straight up out of our way. Uh, it does have the parcel shelf, which just covers everything that you've got stored in the car. Not a bad little area, considering we're looking at a really small, small hatchback. Just a little uh, cavity there to lift up the uh, spare wheel cover. Our spare wheel all locked away in there with our tools and everything as well. Um, and uh, having a closer look at the spare tyre, never been on the car, brand new. Uh, in the event that we possibly need to store or have a little bit more extra storage space, 60-40 um, split fold seats. Notice how when I drop that down, completely flat, out of our way. So it creates actually a really large storage area. Do notice we've got the factory, uh, factory points for our child seats on the back of the seat, rather than, you know, earlier model cars where they took up space. Um, just a, a really simple setup. So we're inside the little Corolla now and a lot to offer the little Corolla, you know, it looks like a basic little setup, but uh, no, it's got lots of goodies. All of our power window switches on our driver's armrest, um, nice chrome, chrome door handles and everything. A few minor little cosmetic marks on the actual inner, inner handle of the driver's door, probably from jewellery from the previous owner. Down below here, this car is fitted with an aftermarket cruise control, so I had already hit the on off button earlier which is just indicated on our little light here. Um, our brightness for our dashboard lights and then our controls for our exterior power mirrors. There is also a little button to turn traction control off if needed. Um, somebody's ringing me, so we'll just have to uh, cancel that call for now. Um, but does appear up on the, uh, the audio screen, which we'll talk about shortly. All of our cruise control settings, aftermarket cruise control fitted to the car, just on the bottom right hand side of the steering wheel. It is tilt and reach adjustable steering, so we set ourselves up where we're nice and comfy and then just lock the lever into place so that it's nice and rigid. Little button on our right hand side of the steering wheel is just for our display up on our dashboard. Just feeds us information about our fuel consumption and so on. You mightn't be able to see that too accurately just with the sun shining on it. Only 59,000 k's this car, so very low mileage. Um, basically, uh, indicators, headlights, right-hand side, wipers on the left, um, all fairly straightforward. In our centre console section here, we've got uh, air conditioning vents, 
hazard light button in the middle there. The uh, air conditioning is running on fan speed three and listen to how quiet it is. Uh, it's really good. Our CD player is MP3 compatible. Um, does have the USB input and the auxiliary input. Does also support Bluetooth and audio streaming, which uh, I was a little bit surprised for 2010, having the audio streaming as well. That's really good. Um, directly below there, we'll just get our T-bar out of the way. All of our controls for our air conditioning, as I mentioned, um, all running there at the moment. And then, of course, just our T-bar automatic right in the middle here, just uh, down into drive. Or well, we can also drive this car in manual mode and you can uh, see the gear changes indicated on the actual screen. Handbrake is standard right in the middle. Very futuristic looking uh, console there. And a large, large storage area just tucked down underneath in the middle. Uh, there is a cigarette lighter there. Um, or I'd prefer to just call it a 12 volt outlet because it doesn't actually have an ashtray as such. Our centre console section is basically just a large storage area. And then also over near our glove box here, another large storage area in there, as well as the glove box down there. So quite a few places for you to store your goodies away. Um, whilst we're looking at the interior, have a good look around it as we scan around it. Look at the condition of the, of the seats, the carpets, even the door trims. Uh, really, really well presented car. Does have the factory carpets as well. And very important, does have the airbag safety front side and curtain airbags so for a nice small little automatic hatch you've got great safety in the interior as well um, fairly impressive you know just looking at the way this car's been looked after we'll grab our service books it'll give us a really good idea of why this car presents so well uh, locally owned car in um, in Narry Warren so not far from us in Berwick and uh, I believe she traded the car on a brand new car and serviced by Toyota basically its whole life uh, by Toyota here in Berwick. So dealership serviced all the way through. And we've done the current service on the car as well. So having only done having only done 59,000 Ks, as you can see, service right up to date. So beautiful service history. Part of the reason the car presents so well. So as you can see by the exterior, the interior, the performance, cracker example of a little Toyota Corolla 2010 7.4 litres combined per 100 k's over 740 k's to a tank of fuel 100 kilowatts of power 175 newton metres of torque a really attractive example hope this gives you a really good idea of the quality if you've got further questions feel free to give us a call 9907 0555